Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be playing Candy Convenience Store on normal mode. Here are my character's loadouts. They probably don't matter too much since I don't have any weapons slash trinkets on them that you would get after tutorials. I did play a bit sloppy in this video, so in other words, I didn't care too much about live leakage. In the end, I just ended up rushing for Brofist. I was thinking about placing Finn on the left and having his half of his range hit the track because that would allow him to hit the balloons. Sadly in Bloons Adventure Time your characters can only see the balloons if it's in if the center of the balloons is in range. I ended up deciding to place Finn on the right so I can place Princess Bubblegum on the left. Yes, I placed her in the corner this time. Speaking of placing Princess Bubblegum in a corner I was thinking about bad placements, mostly because you guys brought it up. If I purposely want to place a tower in a bad spot, maybe to let's say anger someone, would that make that placement a good placement for me? Since it satisfies my needs to anger someone. Not that I need to, of course. Or do I? Nah, I'm just kidding. You can see that game of tic-tac-toe in the top right corner. Who do you think is going to win? Personally, I think X is going to win because they took both the center and the corner. I'd say that's mostly my tic-tac-toe playstyle. I take the center first. Unless if it's already occupied, then I just go for the corners. And O ended up taking an edge space. I thought about it and O probably can't clutch up. At least I don't think so. Because if O... Well, O has to put the next... Because it's their turn. O will have to put it in the bottom right corner. To stop X from winning. But if O does that, that means X can just place one in the bottom left. And no matter what O does, X will still win. But here's a plot twist. What if O is letting X win so X can feel good about themselves? Hmm. I love how I started talking about tic-tac-toe instead of balloons. So let's talk about balloons now. And no, not about the 5 million reds I probably leaked. How's the collection event going for you guys? Since I finished this event early, I get to suffer more in Bloons D6's event. Balloon City 6's event is super boring compared to this event. Mostly because this event has an end, and you get different stuff. Well, I mean, technically you could get different stuff in Balloon City 6's event, depending on how you look at it. But that event is super repetitive, and it's basically just a grind for instas, or insta monkeys. And it doesn't have an end, like in Bloons Adventure Time, so essentially you just have to grind until the event ends. Which means I pretty much just AFK 90% of the time. Also, I was thinking about it and I might actually go and play Impopable after these few levels. Because I'm not sure if I want to do normal mode. Maybe I'll do normal, hard, and extreme in a while from now. Speaking of events, I was thinking about beating the next event in one day. At first I was thinking how I could do that, then I remembered that a level on Impossible only takes around 15 minutes. This means I could do around 4 levels in an hour. I'll need around 16 Impossible levels and 4 extreme levels. So that's around 4 hours, which is 2 hours less than how long it took for me to get to around 80 in Martian Games. And despite that Martian Games run taking 6 hours, it still felt like forever because of how boring it was, and I did just do it in chunks. Like, I grinded for a few hours, then I took a really nice long break, and I went back to grinding. If Extreme takes around... I forget how long Extreme took. Let's say those four games take around 50 minutes. That would mean I can finish the whole event in just five hours. I might be able to get that done in one day that way. Filming can't take that long, right? 
I just don't know how I'm gonna be able to just sit there and grind the event for five hours. I am AFK most of the time, but it's still a long time to be grinding. It also depends on when the event drops. If the event drops, like, at the start of, or when it's morning for me, then I might be able to do it in a very short amount of time. But I remember a few events ago, it happened at night. And the other few events, I wasn't there when it came out. I was around a day late. And the event before that, I was like a week late. Last night, I had a weird dream. Where, where they actually updated Bloon's Adventure Time. And what happened was, I got a legendary wish orb somehow, and then it just dropped a common wish orb. It was so funny. I kind of wish they would add that to the game now. Just for the memes and stuff. Because imagine just opening a legendary wish orb, and it just drops a common wish orb. No one would take it, but it would be funny. Anyways, we pretty much finished the level. I'll leave this episode off right here. See you guys next time.